Hello, National Candidate Training 2017. Is anybody here excited? Good to hear. Uh, my name is Adam Green. I am one of the co-founders of the Progressive Change Campaign Committee, along with my co-founder, Stephanie Taylor, over there, who you will hear from momentarily. And I just need to ask, are, th are there any... Are there any progressives in the house today? Are there, are there any people who are, who are ready to win some elections today? Is there anyone here who is psyched about the idea of running and winning on your values as progressives? Did, did someone say amen? Did I hear an amen? <laughs> Anyone here psyched to expand your progressive network and build long-term power together? Yes. And are folks here prepared for the idea that your victory will stand for something larger than just yourself, including sending a message to that guy in the White House right now? And just a uh, logistical night. Anybody here excited to see uh, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and Keith Ellison over the course of this conference? <laughs> well, I will tell you, on behalf of myself and Stephanie, on behalf of our 30-member PCCC crew, many of whom you'll meet throughout the course of the, these four days, on behalf of our million members, many of, thousands of whom chipped in to make this possible, we're excited too. We are thrilled to be j joining you. This is honestly just a, a beautiful, a beautiful, uh, picture right here, and um, you know we we consider ourselves partners in the trenches with you, uh, working together, learning together, fighting and winning together, and really building long-term progressive power together. And I'll say that we get asked the question a lot: uh, What does it mean to be a progressive? Uh, I get asked this question by reporters, some of whom will be here today, and you'll be hearing about that. Stephanie and I have gotten asked this question when we've done C-SPAN by callers who call up. What does it mean to be progressive? Uh, I get this question when I go home and see my parents and talk to their friends back in New Jersey. <laughs> Anyone here from New Jersey? Any New Jersey here? All right. Wow. Okay, New Jersey is overrepresented today. I like it. <laughs> How many people here have been asked that question? What does it mean to, to be a progressive? Anybody? It's an important question to be asked and it's an important question to answer. And there's no one right answer necessarily, but you know, I'll tell you where where our head's been on this. You know, it's pretty simple. In our mind, being a progressive fundamentally boils down to the idea that we are the ones fighting to improve lives for the little guy, for everyday families, and we're willing to challenge power. Whether challenging power means fighting systemic racism, or fighting corporate abuse of workers, or anything in between, we're the ones who are willing to name it, challenge it, and go to bat on behalf of the little guy. What do you think about that? Yeah. Now, some try to marginalize the idea of having values or running on your values as being kind of narrow. And I will say, we, we believe in a big tent. We believe, believe in the biggest, most beautiful tent. It's an amazing tent. It's the best tent. In that tent, there are people from all walks of life, people from all across the country who have different life experiences, um, people for whom they're driven to politics by uh, different professions or different experiences they've had with people, they're all under that tent. But at the end of the day, the, when we look at the stakes of that tent, they are firmly grounded in the underlying principle of fighting for a little guy and challenging power. I'll take that. <laughs> and over the course of this four-day training, you know, we hope that you feel like you have learned um, many skills along the way. We hope that you feel good about talking on camera. We hope that you feel good about having presence in the room, not being the schlub at the Democratic Party chicken dinner, <laughs> being the center of attention, having a glow. We hope you feel good about talking to donors and being successful with donors, talking to volunteers and inspiring them to volunteer for your campaign. 
Uh, I'll be doing something on pivoting to core message when you are asked curveball questions by reporters. There's so many skills that you will learn, how to do an amazing media event. But we also hope that you feel emboldened leaving this four-day training to really go home and campaign on the things that are in your heart, the values that you stand for as progressives. And that might look like different things for different people. You know, if you're from a rural state, if you're from Montana, or you're from the rural parts of Pennsylvania, or any place with a rural population, maybe what you're talking about is fighting for little guy family farmers against big ag corporations that want to take them over. They're... All right. We have one family farmer in the house. All right. All right. If you have a state with a high senior citizen population, maybe you're talking about the big drug companies and what they're doing to gouge our grandparents and our veterans by jacking up the price of prescription drugs. Are there any pharma lobbyists in the house? No, okay, that's good. <laughs> you know, if you're from a state uh, like New Mexico that has, a big <laughs> that has a big clean energy sector, or states, frankly, that have rivers and air that's been polluted, maybe you're talking about the big oil companies and what we need to do to stand up for a little guy against them. If you're from a state like Nevada, that saw huge foreclosures just a few years ago. Maybe you're talking about the big Wall Street banks and what they did to defraud people of their homes. Different, you know, there are so many issues. There are national issues and there are localized versions of issues. Again, there are, shared, there are lives, life experiences that we bring to the table. All that is beautiful and there's no one single issue to run on. But again, it boils down to the principle that we're the ones challenging power on behalf of the little guy. So I do want to ask you, you know, when we think about the mission for this four-day training, you know, I'll be honest with you, all the skills that you'll learn are, are skills that Republicans can learn to. All the skills that you'll, you'll learn are things that you know, the most corporate beholden Democrat could learn to. Or the most racially incentive Democrat <laughs> could learn to. Anybody can learn to talk on TV. Not all, all, all as persuasively, but everybody, anyone can learn these core skills. But the thing that makes this the Progressive Change Campaign Committee training, and the mission statement that I will hold out to you and ask for your affirmation on is that you will both learn these skills and feel emboldened to go home and campaign on your values, knowing that those are winning values. Are you with us on that? Thank you. We're with you too, we're excited to be here with you. So let's talk about who's in the room. Um, can you please raise your hand if you identify as, as female in this room? What a beautiful sight, huh? We <laughs> As we, you know, you know, as we barely are on the cusp of having 20% of the Senate represented by women, we are thrilled to have half of our crew here. Can you raise your hand if you identify as a person of color? Excellent. Over. Half of the applicants that were accepted this training are people of color, and we are proud to be part of the larger movement to have a reflective democracy. Um, if you're age 35 or under, can you actually raise your hand? Thank you for being here. We want to be investing in the next generation of talent. If you are in the, from the Eastern time zone, can, you, can we hear from you? All right, hello, Eastern time zone. If you're from Mountain or Central Time, raise your hand. If you're from Pacific Time, raise your hand. Are there any Hawaiians here today? All right. Aloha. Uh, well, we are, we are convinced that in this room, in addition to being geographically diverse and diverse in many ways, we are truly a set of people who will accomplish big things together on the local level, bring game-changing policies into existence on the state level. There are people who will serve in Congress together in a couple years, people who are running in 2018. There are people who will be serving in Congress together in six or eight years because you're, you're meeting each other here and you're climbing the rungs of power together. And we might just have future governors, senators, and a president of the United States here. We are thrilled about that. And while we build progressive power together, let's not lose sight of the fact that we want to win in 2018. <laughs> we want to win in 2018. And if Democrats have a big wave election in 2018, we want that wave to include a tsunami of progressives. We want progressives winning up and down the ballot, but we also believe that 
progressives will not just be riding that wave. It is because of progressives that we will have that wave in the first place. Because we genuinely believe that by running on progressive values, by not just dragging people to the polls, but inspiring them to the polls, that is how Democrats will win. And therefore, the Democratic Party needs progressives up and down the ballot. We're excited about that idea. So on behalf of millions of Americans, including our million members, let me just say thank you for stepping up. Thank you for doing what is really you know, the ultimate act of resistance in this moment, which is putting yourself out there, putting yourself in front of voters, being somewhat vulnerable in that, but doing it because you believe in that larger good of challenging power on behalf of everyday people. Um, and also thank you for not just saying no, but saying yes to an affirmative agenda and painting a picture for, of pe for people of what it means to govern as a progressive. We stand with you and we thank you for stepping up. And before I turn things over to Stephanie, who will introduce a very special guest and then share her words on even a big, big, some bigger picture thoughts on why we're here together as progressives. I do want to say thanks to the team that made this happen. In particular, Lucy Sedgwick, our training director, right there. There's some folks that have worked very closely with her, Kate Gifford, Brianna Thompson, Rita Usher, and really the entire 30-person PCCC team that has been working for not just days or weeks, but months in an all-hands-on-deck on moment to make this happen. I uh, also want to say thanks to our million members who chipped in and others who have chipped in, including our sponsors that you'll hear about. Um, and say thank you to the hotel staff that you will be engaging throughout the next four days. Round of applause for them. Uh, thank you to our special guests who are here and will be here. And last and certainly not least, I definitely want to thank my co-founder, Stephanie Taylor, whose vision this really was. A few years ago, she had the idea of having a training program period and building that into a national training uh, program. Uh, one could call her the godmother of national candidate training. So I am proud to introduce you to my co-founder, my partner in crime, Stephanie Taylor. <laughs>